Uh, England and Spurs, Peter Crouch, welcome to FA TV. We're down here in a, a photographic studio because you've just been doing some work for your sponsors. Uh, do you enjoy doing this sort of stuff? Uh, yeah, I do, yeah. It's part of it, obviously, and uh, don't mind doing the, the photo shoots and what have you. Do you? Yeah. I hate having my photo taken. Do you not find it uncomfortable? Yeah, at times I've got quite used to it, to be, to be honest, over the years, and uh, yeah, it's all right, I enjoyed it. Uh, do you get bored with people asking you after every match, have you done enough to get in the squad? Um, yeah, at times, I suppose, yeah. I think, you know, every time you play for, for England, you're judged, obviously. Everyone's looking at you, the whole nation's judging you. Um, but, you know, obviously, the, the last game for me went extremely well and, you know, I'd hope, like to think that I've done enough to, to get in the play and I think you still have to have a good, good finish to the season and, uh, you know, hope to be part of that England squad and, uh, you know, so many players trying to do their best to get on the plane. There's a lot of competition with places. It, it seems the great thing about uh, Mr Capello is everybody could lose their place. It, it seems like even Wayne Rooney or mm. Rio or any of them because he just seems that sort of manager where, you know, mm. there's no security for anyone there. You've got to play and you've got to perform or you're not going. Is that right? That's it, yeah. He's entirely right. I think, you know, no matter who you are, uh, you know, what you've done in the past, if you're not doing it at that particular time, then you're not going to be in and uh, that's just the way the manager is. He treats everyone exactly the same as... You know, if you've got 100 caps or you've got one cap, you, you're treated exactly the same. And uh, that's something that the manager's got and uh, has brought in and um, keeps everyone on their toes, certainly. He seems to have completely changed the attitude of the players and the fans, the belief. Mm. It, it seems to be he's instilled yeah. belief in everyone, is that right? Yeah, I th I th without a doubt. I think, you know, look around the players, I think we go into games expecting to win now. Even when we go a goal down, like we, you know, we did in against Egypt, um, you know, I think we've always got that belief and that winning mentality he's brought in. And I think, uh, you know, look at the qualifying campaign, we've, you know, won every game, um, you know, and, until the end. And it was, you know, fantastic way we qualified. And I don't think we've, we've had that previously. Um, you know, we're going to a tournament now full of confidence. Is he hands on? I've heard in training he actually mm. gets tracksuit bottoms on boots and joins in. Is that oh, right? yeah, no, he's full, he's full on. Yeah, he's, he's, he's out there, uh, you know, barking orders are usually... Uh, Usually steps in if, if the tempo is not high enough for him, and um, you know shout and scream and, and tell the lads exactly what he thinks. And um, you know at first I think we were all taken aback, and you know it's been the same ever since. So, um, but he gets the best out of his players, and always has done. You look at his record um, in Italy and Spain. He's got the best out of his players. He's won, you know, everything there is to win. So um, I think all that's left is a World Cup, and hopefully we can achieve that. If, if you learn much of him. I think so, yeah. I think uh, certainly the way he goes about things, it's uh, very Italian, you know, in the, the, his mentality. And um, you learn something, something new every day. And it's a, obviously a pleasure to, to be in, in his company and, and, and be able to learn of someone like that.